Welcome back, scholars. That was quick. And let's go over the answers very quickly. Step one is parentheses. Step two is exponents. Let me show you here, parentheses, exponents. Step three is multiplication, division, and then addition and subtraction. Should have been step four. Those are the four answers. I'm gonna leave that paper there because I'm gonna be using it for the problem we're gonna go through. Now you're gonna have a question. While I am working the next problem, while I'm showing it to you, I want you to think, am I doing it correctly? Did I get the right answer? If it's a yes, tell me why I got it. If I did it incorrectly, if I didn't do it right, tell me why not, why didn't I do it right? Please write your answer in Nearpod. Now let me go ahead and go through the problem that we're gonna be working is parentheses six plus 20 divided by four parentheses plus three times six equals A. So let's work it out. If you remember, I had an arrow here that we have to work it from left to right. Here's the parentheses. Let me work in the parentheses first. I get 36. Then I got to divide that by four because we're still in the parentheses. Uh, that gives me a nine. Okay. Uh, still in the parentheses. So nine plus three, because I'm working it from left to right, it's going to give me 12 times six. I do. I didn't have any exponents. I multiplied. I already divided. So up, but left to right, I have to do addition. Yep, I did addition. Now I'm multiplying. That's good. So that's 72. That gives me A. Is that the correct answer? Let's look back and find out. All right. Did I follow PIMDOS the way I should have? If you wrote yes, you weren't paying attention to what PEMDAS is. All right, so let's look at it. We're gonna be working whatever's within the parentheses or brackets first. So, but we also have to follow PEMDAS. The biggest operation that we see there is multiplication and division. We see division, so we have to do the division first. So let me go back to that there. We have 20 divided by four, that gives me five. 16 plus five gives me 21, all right? Then I have, if I'm following PEMDAS, I actually have three times six here, plus three times six. So the next thing I have to do is multiplication, P-E-M-D, because we got that. So that gives me 18, All right? That took care of that square. And now I have to add or subtract. I'm adding, that gives me 39. So the answer should be 39. Let's go back to this here. So as you see, as I was working it out, I got that. 21 plus 18 equals 39. I got the correct answer. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next problem here. All right, the next problem we have is, all right, the next problem is bracket 11 parentheses 12 minus 8 parentheses times 6 minus 8 bracket divided by 4 equals y. That's a lot there. Let me go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is look at the parentheses and brackets. So I got brackets here. So do I have any parentheses inside the bracket? Yes, I have the 12 minus eight, which gives me four. I'm still within the brackets here. So the first thing next, I don't have any exponents, so I'm going out, but I still have parentheses. I got to multiply. Anytime a number is next to a parentheses like that, that means multiply. That gives me 44 times 6 minus 8. 
Now I'm in the brackets. I'm on the next side over here. So, PEMDAS, do I still have multiplication? Yes, I do. So I'm doing multiplication again, 44 times 6. Hmm, what is 44 times 6? Let me go ahead and have you give me the answer to that. Teachers, please pause the video. Have the students give you the answer to 44 times 6. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes, 20, uh, 44 times 6 equals 264. So it's 264. I've still got the brackets, minus 8. And outside I have divided by 4 equals y. So do I still have multiplication and division? No, I'm still within the brackets. I now have to do subtraction. So 264 minus 8 is going to be 252. I'm outside the brackets now, or I have just that bracket, which is an answer. Then I got to divide it by 4, because that's my next step, my division. 252 divided by 4. So 252 divided by 4 comes out to what? Well, let's see. 252 divided by 4. 6, 4, 12. Is it 63? Did I do this right? 63. Let's find out. I don't remember. 4. 44 times 6 equals 264. Oh, it's 256. Excuse me, 256. I knew that wasn't right. So 256, that's going to change it to 16. Is it 64? 64. All right. So the answer, and if you should have caught me here, but it's 256 divided by 4 equals 64. So that's what we got there for the answer. Hey guys, there's a couple of misconceptions we got to look at. We do make mistakes and sometimes those mistakes come out because we don't solve everything in the brackets before moving to the outside of the brackets. And sometimes we do multiplication before we do division, even though we have to do the problem from left to right. So if division comes first, do that first. And then the same thing with addition and subtraction. Uh, people believe they have to do addition before subtraction, even though the subtraction is first. Do subtraction first, then addition. They're at the same level. So here's a brain break song for you that might help you with that. Serve. 